low peaks of granite range rose into central Wyoming. Over time, mountains caused them to sag, and the peaks have made landmarks here in Wyoming. Oh, and here's Mason. Thanks, Shark Puppet. I'm here to tell you all about when you have to come visit. I'm Mason Baker, and I'm reporting live from Independence Rock in Alcova, Wyoming, right off the Highway 220 and about 55 miles southwest of Casper, Wyoming. You can come see this enormous rock landmark. I'm telling you, when you are coming up to see it, you'll think it's a whale on land. Isn't that right, Shark Puppet? Oh, yeah. I thought that rock whale was going to eat me. Then I remembered, I'm a shark. You guys will freak out when you come see that Independence Rock is a mile around the base and it's 136 feet tall at its highest point. It's really cool because they built a, they built a trail that goes around it so you can walk right along it. You can, but it's pretty slippery. There are also names carved on the rock um, dating all the way back to the 1824. Um, that's when the, the very first name was carved in, M.K. Hugh. Wow, those names have been there over a hundred years. Oh, how cool would that to see them today? Yes, over 5,000 pione pioneers carved their names in the rock over the years to show that they made it by July 4th. Uh, it was important for them when they traveled to Oregon Trails to get to Independence Rock by the 4th of July because they believed it marked the eastern border, border of the Rockies and that it meant they were doing good on their travels they would be able to get through the mountains safely before winter. So they would celebrate America's birthday when they got there. So, Mason, who named this epic historical landmark? Well, I've heard tales about the legend Thomas Broken Hand Fitzpatrick naming it in 1830, but I've also heard that a guy named William Sublet did around the same time. So it's sort of a mystery to me. Register of the Desert, which is another name that Independence Rock goes by. You can see for yourself just how huge this whale is and also stand next to a hundred year old piece of Oregon Trail in Wyoming history. Plus, trying to climb it is always fun. Have fun trying to do that, Shark Puppet. So, after visiting Independence Rock today, we will be giving a five star rating and two fins up. Yeah, but no more shark jokes. Well, that puts me between the rock and the shark place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and that reminds me. How did the hammerhead do on his math test? He nailed it. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah. This is Mason Baker and Shark Puppet signing off. And remember to visit Independence Rock and bring some cake to celebrate America's birthday. Thanks, and be sure to follow me on Fox News and hit that like button. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching my video and come climb the Independence Rock. <laughs>